U.S. Immigration and Customs and Enforcement declines to comment on allegations that hysterectomies were performed on detained immigrant women without their full consent. That is this week's Speak Out segment. News outlet Law & Crime reported Monday that a whistleblower complaint was filed last week with the Office of Inspector General at the Department of Homeland Security, which included testimony from immigrants at a Georgia ICE detention center and a nurse at the center. The complaint alleges immigrant women were there, underwent hysterectomies at an extraordinarily high rate. A hysterectomy is the surgical removal of a woman's uterus. One detainee likened the detention center's conditions to an experimental concentration camp. Women there were reported to be confused about the procedure they received. In a statement to our news partner, Catholic News Agency, ICE gives a no comment, saying, quote, ICE does not comment on matters presented to the Office of the Inspector General, which provides independent oversight and accountability within the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. ICE takes all allegations seriously and defers to the OIG regarding any potential investigation and or results. ICE continued, saying, that said, in general, anonymous, unproven allegations made without any fact-checkable specifics should be treated with the appropriate skepticism they deserve. A few things to first acknowledge. This is a developing story that has come out with fewer than 50 days until a U.S. presidential election. We are clear-eyed on that and have a journalistic responsibility to investigate this, to verify this, to stay on top of this story. That being said, we want to be on the record to say if this is true, this is an evil attack on human life that cries out for justice. To take away a woman's uterus without her full consent, to sterilize her, is a gross violation that strips her of her ability to carry a child in her womb and is an abuse of human rights. The fact that immigrant women are allegedly being targeted is particularly disturbing and reminiscent of eugenics. Please know we are going to continue to monitor and look into these allegations. In the meantime, let us pray for our immigrant brothers and sisters, call out for more clarity and information, and speak out against any allegation of forced sterilization, whether it's happening in communist China or in our own backyard.